Hi guys. Hi. How are you tonight? Yes. Hi. Sir JC and Jenny, welcome. How was your day? Hi. Fine. Fine. Just fine. Yolanda, I didn't see you in class last night. I was wondering what happened. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was sick. I was sick yesterday. You I had me. a very big headache. Oh no, how do you feel tonight? Good, I feel very good. All right, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, you were always in class, so I realized you were not here. Heidi, welcome. Ready for another class? Everyone? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should be excited. It's all right. Of course, we're excited. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, we're going to continue studying. Um, hold on. Okay. Things with too much, too many. So we still need to take countable and, and, and non countables into account. Okay. Tomorrow, since we have made so much progress in two weeks, we're going to have a review, right? So tomorrow we're going to use it to review rather than advancing. I would like you to let me know um, on WhatsApp what topics you want to study, okay? Tomorrow, or you want to review actually, not study. But tonight, let's continue with the platform. Everybody should be on section three. Welcome, Mirna. Katia, Arnold, how are you tonight? All good? I'm great. Great? Awesome. Yes. All right, let's continue then. Um, Mirna, can you read the objective, please? Okay. Uh, so it's um, build your English language skill with the less, with little lesson of objective tips and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use uh, evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see. Um, do you have any questions? Let's watch this and after the video, let me know if you have questions, okay? So everybody mute the microphone and here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. 
The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives and particularly we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that we're going to make evaluations but this time we're going to use nouns and at the same time we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. 
and a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time, and I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making these valuations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, that's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, the verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then um, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. OK? Uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces. As you can see there, we can think of things like closet space. Right? We can think of things like privacy, and of course, we can think of things like money, if you will. Right. So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this, I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. Right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live. All right. I don't see. I don't see Karen, Jose. Oh, no, here you are. Do you have questions about this topic to begin with? A little complicated, right? You know, what we're going to do is we're going yeah, to teacher. a little because I understand it's confusing. So we're going to go. Sorry, guys. Um, hold on, hold on. If you want to say something, you will have to unmute the microphone. I'm going to mute everyone. Let's see, I hear background noise. All right. So we're going to go little by little. All right. And we're going to start practicing. Hold on. We're going to start practicing uh, this construction, this uh, structure. All right. Then uh, this one, and all right, this is going to be the first exercise. So, um, which one are we going to use for countables? As much as or as many as? Hayden? We cannot hear you. What about now?
Jocelyn, we can't hear you. What about now? Is that better? No? Can you hear me now? Yes. It's better. Nope. Yep. It's like a bad signal teacher. It's like a breaking uh, your voice. Oh, it's breaking down. It's breaking up. Up, actually. All right. Yes, yeah, so it's breaking, breaking up. Uh -huh. That's it's the expression. Up. It's breaking up. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm breaking up. I didn't get the message that I have bad signal, but <laughs> let's try. All right. Anyway, as much as we're going to use for countables or non-countables. We're going to use for no countables. Countables. And as no countables. Yes. yes. Countables. For countables. All right. We're going to work. Yes. We're going to work in, sorry, this one we're, we can use for example with adjectives. Okay. So we can say, Karen. Karen is, we're going to use an adjective here in between, as intelligent okay. as JC, okay? So we're comparing and we're saying you're both equal, right? This is the, the structure, as, and then mm -hmm. a adjective, mm -hmm. and as again, all right? Let's do one example for as much. Yes. All right. We can as say, much, okay. Let's compare. Hold on. Mm. Imagine, right, Yolanda, let's say you have $20, okay? And Heidi, you have $20, all right? <laughs> In your pocket, I mean. So we're going to say, Heidi, Hold on. Heidi has as much money as who, guys? As money as, as Yolanda. Has. All right. Because mm -hmm. this is uncountable. Now, let's do one with as many. Who has children? Mirna, Carlos, do you have children? Jose Armando, you have children? Excuse me? Do you have children? Yes. Who? I have a two. Who? JC. Ah, okay. JC, you have t uh, two children. What about you, Jose Armando? Nobody else. Okay, who has pets? Wow. Do you have pets? Me. Yes. yes. Karen, Me too. How many pets do you have, Karen? I have two dogs. Two. You have two. Katya? Two dogs and what? <laughs> okay, so dogs, because that is similar. So we're going to use this now. All right, and say, hold on, Katia and Karen, right? Katia has yes. as many dogs as who do you say? Karen, okay? And we can hear them, by the way. <laughs> All right. Let's practice. I will send you a, an image right now. Please practice in pairs, and I want you to identify the three examples, all right? As and as, uh, as many as, and as much as. Identify it and practice the reading. Take turns. We're going to read one paragraph per person. Ready? Ready. Ready. Check what's up, please. Let's read out loud. Take turns and identify them, okay? Here we go.
Ya. Okay. Es, uh, en WhatsApp. Ya. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is as much as as much as okay. Um now. Yeah. I have it. As much as many. Read this picture. Okay. Take her to read and then find example using as much as. Uh, um, in the first um, paragraph, we have uh, uh, there were as many university student failures in the US as Europe. And also, we have. Uh, what? Sorry. First, let's read the complete Just reading. One paragraph per person. Okay. First read and then identify them. Okay. Many universities are doing far less in the U.S. As Europe and more. After my writing, the U.S. federal government Gay university extra money is a included orientation. Reading, etc. Specifically, they learn not to listen to music while studying. The brain consumes more oxygen. More oxygen. <laughs> more <laughs> energy. You say okay. this. More energy. They, no. they also learn to put their not Heidi. <laughs> Heidi? Yes. And what, who else? Hey. Sorry. No, we have Jose Armando, Katia, Karen, Heidi. So I'm going to move Karen. I'm going to send you to another group, okay? Because this is too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. But Jose Armando don't have the what? Ah, what audio? Jose Armando don't have the 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 paragraph. Ah, the paragraph. Paragraph. Yes. <laughs> What's going on with you tonight, Heidi? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. So it's the three of you. All right, continue then. It's okay. Okay. 80%. Percent. 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 80%. Okay. Um, is as many as courses that this course where is as many university. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the learning to not use pencil, uh -huh. pencil mark is, is more and become blur. Mm -hmm. Continue order. Okay, me. They learn not to study one hour before an exam. Seeing this is weakest point of your recall cure. Actually, students because more in the U.S. than in less time. Of course, say the U.S. federal a lot of money and students a lot of headache. Okay, mm -hmm. so I will learn the as much as time as work mm -hmm. is another it's one. A, another one. Un, un countable. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no countable. countable. Yeah. But as much and as and as, uh, we have only this one. Okay, we have only three. Sorry, what did you say? We have only three sentences. Yeah.
Did you finish? Yes, yeah. I think. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay. okay. All right, did you finish? You're muted, by the way. I guess everybody finished. Can you share some examples with me, please? Examples of the found. JC, I think you want to share something. But I can't hear the noise. JC, you're muted. Okay. Hold on, manage participants. Okay. All right, there you are. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There. Uh -huh. Jay-Z, go ahead. Examples. Come on, guys, point. Example. Uh, yeah. As many university in the U.S. as Europe. Very good. Yolanda? Um, let me see. <clears throat> they said students as much as time at work. Very good. And one more, please. Volunteer. Come on, come on, guys. Participate. Armando, you I know you cannot speak, right? He's only smiling all the time. <laughs> hey, D, help me. By 1960, these courses were in as many university and college. Okay, awesome. All right, now we're going to practice um, speaking as well using the topic. I will make it easier for you, all right? Mute the microphone, please, and we're going to practice as much as and as many. For example, these are the questions. Can one person take a screenshot, please, and send it to WhatsApp? These are the questions we're going to discuss. Let's do number one. Read question number one, please, Karen. Karen, you're muted. How many pairs of shifts do you have? All right. Karen, can you please ask Jenny? So Jenny, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Ask the question. Jenny? Uh-huh. Jenny, Jenny, how many pairs of, of shoes do you have? Jenny, are you there? Jenny. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> All right, you're going to have to ask someone else. Ask um, Mirna. Mirna? Hold on, hold on. Yes. How many pairs of shoes do you have, Mirna? Okay. Um, I have as many no, just just a answer pair of the shoes. How many? Just give us a number. Okay. Okay. I think I have my pair of shoes. Nine I think. pairs. Okay. Hold on, guys. Look, Mirna yeah. says she has nine pairs, right? What about you, Karen? Right now, we're using Karen and, and Mirna as an example. Karen, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Okay. Just the answer? Mm -hmm. Just the answer. I have like um, five pairs of shoes. <laughs> yes, Look at her. Five. She's like, mm, let me see. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> yeah. Five. Okay. So I want you to make a sentence. All right. So Karen, you would say in that case, I don't mm -hmm. have as, as much or as many, guys? Many. As many. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I don't have as many shoes as. Karen, that's a sentence, all right? So we first discuss the question and then make one real sentence. It can be affirmative or negative depending on the result, okay? So this is the example. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's 
try another example. Okay, imagine I'm working with um, with Juan Carlos Cervellón. Are you there? Wait, wait. He's taking. Yes. Hi. Okay, Juan Carlos. How much money do you spend daily? Mm, this is difficult. <laughs> I uh, spell five dollars. <laughs> you spend five dollars every day. Great. Yeah. I spend four hundred pesos. So how much is that? Like seven dollars a day. It's not a lot. All right. Imagine. So it's Jocelyn about seven dollars and Juan Carlos. He says five dollars. What sentence can I make? So we're gonna say Jocelyn and spends as much as or, or, or as many. As much. As much. As much. Or or is it negative? Because it's not the same. As much as it is negative. It's negative. Doesn't doesn't spend as much what? As much money doesn't as much money as, as JC. Yes, exactly. Is it clear? Much money. Yes. In and imagine months. imagine that it is the same information. You're going to say as much as or as many as if it is if it matches the answer. So discuss the question sure. and make sentences. Ready? Is that clear? I will take a picture of this and send it to you. Right. We're going to work in pairs. Ready? A question. Yes, yes tell me. What if siblings? Ah, siblings means brothers what and if sisters. Because brothers is only for boys. Sisters is only for girls. So siblings is both. Girl. Brothers and sisters. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, I didn't send you the invitation. Hold on. Um, all right, there it is. Accept it now, please. question uh, how, how much money do you spend daily i spend uh, mm, 
20 dólares. Tu dólares. 20 dólares. Oh, 12. Ok, 12. How much yeah, money like is this? 10 dólares. 10 dólares. Ok. okay. Um, I, um, well, usually is, um, three spoons. Three spoons? Yes. Oh my God, that's, that's so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because okay. it's a, it's a big, um, nothing. Me too. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. What question are you discussing? <laughs> I can't believe okay. it. Yeah, yeah. It's... I, I drink the coffee with sour sugar. Ah, okay. Okay, no. About the sugar. So say, I put as much sugar as Armando because it's the same quantity. Nothing. Okay, the number four. <laughs> yeah, I was saying. I don't use maybe teacher what do you mean siblings siblings means brothers and sisters brothers and sisters, sisters. both brothers both. Is for boys sisters is for girls but brothers and sisters is um, for both for brothers or sisters and brothers and sisters um, uh -huh. If I ask you how much uh, okay. you have, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Go ahead. I have a one brother. I have. Okay. Brother. I have two two brothers and four sisters. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. I houses. only one brother. Only one. I only yes. have one brother. Only. I only have one brother. Very good. Okay. Okay, yeah. the sentences. Katia. Katia. Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't have. Many? Yes. As many. Dosing. Uh, As many. Right. As many siblings. <clears throat> I know uh, just a little bit of Italian, yeah. Italian language, but um, I can't carry on a conversation, in fact. Um, but I think I speak um, uh, more English and Spanish, obviously. So the sentence could be Mirna uh, speaks as many languages as Yolanda, right? Yes, it could be. Okay. How many countries have you been? Your uh, as you right? No, I don't understand. Uh, the teacher uh, put in the WhatsApp. We have to write the sentence, and then we will we will share with the class. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And the second, the, the answer, I don't spend uh, too much money. Two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> okay. JC uh, speaks. Okay, okay. JC. Speaks. As. As much. As much? Yes, but languages, languages. languages is countable. 
How many? Yes, as many. How many? As, as How many? Oh. many? As many languages because you can say I speak one language, two languages, wow. three languages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. How many? How many as... languages has Katia? Yes, but it is as many languages as as many languages as, as languages has Katia. Yes. Very good. All right, guys, welcome back. So how is the topic now? Is it easier now that you practice? Yes. You see, practice makes perfect. So yeah, we will go right. step by step and we will continue practicing, all right? But give me some of the examples that you wrote. Can you share it with me, please? Let's write some examples. Come on, guys, give me examples. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> chop, chop. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Jenny, what? Jenny has one sibling. So, Jenny has. Jenny. Sorry, Jose Armando. Oh, Jenny hasn't as much. Ah, Jenny no, uh, hasn't. Jenny has as much as many. Mm -hmm. As many what? Sibling, many siblings as Armando. Mm -hmm. uh, or as me? As I agree, as seven, mm -hmm. and she has just one. <gasps> How many siblings do you have, Armando? Seven. 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 It's a big family. <laughs> That's a huge family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot. Hey, guys, how many siblings do you have? Yolanda, Mira, everybody. How many siblings do you I have? I have just two. Five. 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 Katia, right? Heidi, Karen, how many do you have? Karen. Five. Oh my gosh, Karen, 20. 20. Five siblings. Five siblings. <laughs> Heidi has 20? She's lying. Heidi. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, hold it's on. Flat. I, I don't understand. Ah, no, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> We're not talking about. Who's? We're talking about siblings right now. I was like, 20 <laughs> siblings? What? <laughs> We're not talking about shoes. <laughs> I have five. I have five more. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to beat these records because I have 12 siblings. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, but, but I have two siblings from my mother's mm -hmm. and father's side and I have 12 siblings total from my um on my father's side so you see my father you know <laughs> wow yeah he has 12 children so yep mm -hmm. a lot I want this I have the record so you have the record <laughs> yes I want this record now <laughs> I did it no it's not a good thing anyway <laughs> all right Another example. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't put. As much. Uh huh. Heidi. 
Okay, very good. Two. Teacher, I have a question and as many as or as much as is only for negative. No, it's also for affirmative. The thing is that um, that depending on the answer, we're trying to make a real example. For example, I have uh, I have uh, as much love as my mother or something like that. No. <laughs> yes. You can say that. The thing is, we were practicing to make a real example. So in case that you were saying mm -hmm. that, yeah, it was the same answer, then we were going to say an affirmative example. Okay. For example, um, okay. how many how many rooms are there in your house, guys? Everybody give me the answer. How many rooms are there in your house? Three. 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 Ah, okay, so you see, for example, Yolanda, Yolanda's house has as many rooms as a Hades. So this is a real example. And it is affirmative. Okay. Two more examples and we finish. Two more, come on. Okay. Yes. It's raining here. So you might hear the Me, noise. Katia. Many Go languages. Ahead, Katia. JC speaks, has many languages, has me. Has Katia. JC. Yes, you can say, I speak as many okay. languages as JC. So you can use different subjects, guys. Okay, one more example and with that will be finished. One more, one more, come on. I drink as much water as JC. Okay, very good. Is this part clear? As much and as many, is it clear? Yes. 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 Awesome. Yes. All right. Thank you, awesome. teacher. So tomorrow we will practice the, uh, the following part and hopefully it will be easy for you as well. Okay? Okay. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for being in class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I hope to see you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.